yo, hey, yo, you need. We got Lick Sometimes ass, you gotta grab one of these break beats hey, yo, real quick and just like that body shit that up. shit. You know what I mean? If it's New York style. style. Let's get hot. Hey, yo, yo, kiss your styles. You motherfuckers know I'm traveling the globe. And I rap like I'm rhyming in the road. Break dancing in the stroll. Pop locking, Glock popping, black stocking. Yankee hat low, we in here, club rocking. Smoking like a chimney. Smoking like I'm in the pulpit for niggas to come get me. Same shit, man. Got a couple joints. You want to hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, <laughs> I, I, I want to I hear the backstory. Uh, uh, the backstory is pretty much like I think every other person that, that that's involved in hip-hop now. I used to rap. <laughs> a lot okay. of people don't know that. I used to rap. Not for nothing, I was nice. I'm not just saying that. I was like, <laughs> when I was like, but what, I, what it is was I used to, um, I used to make, um, listen to the radio and make my own mixtapes for myself to listen to. So if it was like Red Alert on this station and Molly Mall on that station, I would record both of them on two, two separate tape decks. And then like on Friday and Saturday and on Sunday, I would take the songs I would like from Red Show and the songs I like from Marley's show and put them together and make my own mixtape just for me to listen to. And then dudes used to be like, yo, let me get a copy, let me get a copy. Let me get... So after that, I was like, shit, I might as well just become a DJ. And from that, I started I started learning how to like scratch, cut, and you know I just worked my way into doing DJ and shit. I bought like the first set of um, turntables I bought was like two mismatch turntables. I had one straight on with no pitch adjustment, <laughs> and then I had uh, I think a B10 with a pitch adjustment. So I learned on those, and then um, I got my first set of twelves. And the story with that was. It was this chick that liked me, but I wasn't oh. giving her no play. And she just knew, she knew I needed a set of 12. So one day she was just like, yo, I got something for you. And she, she went, she went, the school she was going to, the college she was going to, she broke into the radio station and stole the 1200s. And thus I got my first set of... <laughs> okay. but, but, but did you, did you, did you smash after no, that? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. You got it doing grand larceny. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got my first, my first set. Second set, I got it on my own merit. But first set of toes, that's how I came about. Wow. What was your, what was your first uh, official placement? Uh, official placement. First, first official placement. I guess official but not official would be Maino High Hater. High Hater? Yeah, Maino High Hater. Oh, <laughs> did, did the credits say Scott Storch? Nah, they don't say Scott Storch. They, they actually say, um, I think they say Mr. Roger, and and um, you know, I didn't play a big, I didn't, I didn't like the original beat, and then what was done is is kind of different, but I played a role in it. So we would okay. just leave it at it's a little politics to it, but of course, I, <laughs> I played, I played. I, I guess that would be like the first official, the first official. Then after that. I just mainly st stayed on the um, mixtape scene. Like I did a whole bunch of mixtapes, and then did a, did like started doing parties, like college parties, parties in New York, VA, Atlanta, um, Florida, um, even as far as Switzerland, um, Milan in um, Italy, Marque in France, Czechoslovakia, um, Japan. And that was all. That was, I did all those off the strength of um, mixtape popularity and going back and forth DJing with um, <coughs> with MOP. Okay, how how did MOP find you? That's the home team. Um, God damn, how did, I've been down with them niggas so long. It was Lays. No, matter of fact, Mo, my man Mo, that we went to school together. He was older than me, so you know how it's always um, you know, an older dude, and he kind of like got a lot of dudes in check and he used to see me and see how I moved and I wasn't from that area so he used to be like yo I like you da 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 and started calling me his little brother so you know I never paid him no mind and I knew he used to run with um with Kane with Big Daddy Kane and, and schooling these dudes and he was from um up the hill in Brownsville <coughs> I'm from Ben Stock. so I used to come through the Ville and whatever and check him and then when I started D the matter of fact it even goes further than back than that I used to like I said I used to rap and he used to say yo Get in the studio, send me something, because we working on something. And at that time, they was working on this project called The Hill That's Real, which was the debut of um, Lil Fame, if a lot of people don't know. And he actually wanted me to be Fame's partner. But after hearing Fame, it's like, he too hard. Like, I don't rap like this. Like, right. I, I'm, I'm rapping about bitches and, and, and having fun. He rapping about 
Blue Steel and laying niggas down. Like, he too hard. He sound too much like G-Rap. So, uh, after a while, like, I left the rap thing alone, started DJing, and he was like, yo, um, you know, they, he started giving me their music. He gave me the Hell That's Real vinyl and wanted me to spin it. And then he was like, yo, we gonna need a DJ. And that's how I, I connected with Fame and Billy. And then, you know, it's, we've been just family from there on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's how I ended up going on a roll with them. And then I, I took advantage of the situation. Like, when they wasn't making an album, I actually DJed for Rampage for a little while. So when they were in between um, the first album and the second album, Firing Squad, I DJ for Rampage a little while. And in, in that whole time in between, I'm building a name for myself um, with the mixtapes. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm doing mixtapes, doing mixtapes. And right at the time, there wasn't too many dudes from Brooklyn repping for mixtapes. So you had Clue holding down Queens. You had SNS, Craig G, Chubby Chubb. They holding it down for Harlem. And then in the BX, you had like Kid Capri. But he, I think he had really kind of laid off the mixtapes at that time. But you had doo and like I think like Cool Kirk and a couple other dudes. So like I'm, I'm really the only dude from Brooklyn that, that kind of went hard. Mr. C and Enough, they follow behind, but then after a while, they stopped doing the mixtapes. Right. So I'm doing the mixtapes. I'm holding down Brooklyn and my man self. So we doing that. And, you know, at, at, at that time, Clue had shit on lock. So it's just like if Clue dropped the mixtape, some niggas wouldn't even drop their tape, even if they just finished it because they knew. You wasn't gonna sell so it's just like I right, you gotta get shit you know the exclusive shit so that was the the plus of DJ for MOP because now I got relationships at different labels which allowed me to get exclusive joints plus freestyles from them or anybody that, that you know that they were affiliated with so now I'm able to compete but my name still ain't is bubbling but it still ain't boiling yet so what happened was um and I didn't even plan it like this. It's just crazy how, how, how fate works. The week of March 9th, when Big got killed, I dropped the best of Bad Boy. And when I dropped that, it, like, this shit just caught wildfire. I had dudes hitting me from, from different states telling me, like, um, yo, there's dudes out here at the Greek Fest. They whipping them up because they can't sell them fast enough. So with that, Damn. the best of Bad Boy joint really, like, put my name on and then after that every mixtape from there it was easy to sell easy to sell so now not only was I selling New York I'm selling out of state all over the country I'm selling all over you know like in Europe and Japan a lot of places like that so that is the, the mixtape shit that's what got me to where you know what I'm saying got me a little popular I, I would say right and then from there I was able to do a lot of parties from the mixtape shit I, I, I used to ride motorcycles I got into an accident and, and um while I was down, I didn't get any, um, I didn't really get any money from the bike accident. I got a little bit. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy an MPC because if I get one of these, I can make enough money to buy 20 bikes. And that's how I started. I bought my first 2000. With that, I got the shit. I didn't really know anything about producing. The most I knew about producing was being in D&D and watching Premiere. Like I spent countless nights in D&D just watching, really knowing. I want to make beats. So I watch, 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 watch. And I would ask Premier questions here and there. And then, you know, I would ask him, like, what's the best machine to buy? And, you know, he just told me, like, well, if you never worked on an MP, you're not going to know the difference anyway. So I went to get a, uh, a 3000, but they were, <clears throat> they were done at the time. They had a few of the limited editions, the black joints, the Roger Lynch's. And um, they didn't have them. I ended up getting a 2000. So I get home, I get the 2000, I unbox it, and I start hitting pads. I'm like, yo, man. It don't make no, it's broke, <laughs> it ain't no samples coming out of it. So um, I knew Jazz O, so I called him up. So after he laughed at me for about 15 minutes, he told me, yo, you got to put the sounds into it. So I'm like, oh, all right. So, so from there, Jazz showed me how to, how, to work, how to work the 2000. So, you know, shout out to Jazz O for showing me that, how to work the 2000. So I learned that, and then um, I started doing beats for like, Local dudes, like I still, you know, I was still like early. Like if I go back to some of that shit I was doing, then I'm just like, yo, I don't even know how some of these niggas bought that shit. But oh, you was actually selling the beats. I was selling, them, but like not, not to know, like to like hustler dudes that got a couple rappers they backing or whatever. So I made a couple joints, and this one dude, he um he owed me some bread. So he was uh, he told me, yo, I got you. He's like, matter of fact, come to the studio. They had a, uh, this crazy studio in Williamsburg. I go there. And, you know, since they hustling, I guess they got all kind of legal issues going on. He's like, yo, I don't have it right now, but 
you can have whatever you want in here as payment. So he's just like, you, you want those two things. So I'm like, now mind you, I didn't drive that day. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. So that's when the 4000 was brand new. So I was like, I'll take that. And then he was like, you want the motif? It was a, a, I don't know which one it was. It was huge. But I had a, I had a Triton at the time with my 2000. And I, like I said, I didn't drive that day. And it was snowing. So I was just like, <coughs> nah, I just take the 4000. So And I, I was like, we even. So I took the 4000. So I, I know how to semi work it now. And I get back to the crib. I'm like, this shit is like starting up the enterprise. Because I'm like, I can't get this shit to work. So I leave, I sit, I let it sit for like a year. I'm just working on my 2000, just trying to get better, get better. I end up meeting Red Spider um, through my man self. So we get cool, and you know, when he, when I tell him what I'm working with, and I'm like, yeah, I got a 4000. He was working on a 4000. He's like, yo, I'll show you how to use it. Showed me how to use it. I got on the 4000 and never looked back. And from there, I just started doing beats. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get them off, trying to link up with niggas. I'm, I'm offering free beats, like, yo, I got beats, like, let's get together, blah, blah, blah. And Twitter gets popular. So I, I meet this dude on Twitter, this rap dude, Troy Ave. Now, I had heard of him before from Brooklyn, just, you know, his name or whatever. And I think he had a single out before that was getting rotation on BET at the time. So I had heard of him, but I, I never really seen him or nothing like that. So he's on Twitter promoting a joint that he had, a mixtape that he had put out. It was like a like an album, an independent album that he had put out. So I'm like, fuck it, I'ma just see what Sun's about. Cause I heard him before. So I hit him like he because he what he would do is he would tweet, yo, I'm in bed style. If anybody want a CD, come through. So I'm like, alright. So he tweeted where he was at one day. I hit him, like, yo, I'm gonna come through. I met him, I'm like, I do beats or whatever. If you want beats, he's like, yo, I'm trying to come up. Fuck it, we come up together. So I'm like, alright, it is what it is. So pull off, I pop the joint in, and this is my first time really hearing this music, so I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy, so for, for like an independent artist, somebody I never heard of, I had, to, I had that shit in my CD player like on rotation for a minute, and I'm like, damn, that's crazy, so he ends up hitting me, we link up or whatever, and um, I took my 4000 to his crib, because he had a little studio set up in his crib, and we did a joint called O's, which we shot a video for or whatever, and from there, that was like the beginning of me doing beats and then he's he was he was working uh the internet and that was that was new to me because you know I, I come from the days of, like mixed tapes like 90 minute cassettes the max l joints the gray joints right. so it's like all right i'm, I'm just getting into the internet so he kind of like introduced me a little bit to that and from there you know what i'm saying as the, he would as his buzz was getting up he would get interviews they would ask him about the beats and he would say oh nah dj unique blah 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 he did it and then from there the interviews started coming my way, and then the the pub the publicity started getting up a little bit more. Me and Beats, so then you know I kind of like fell back a little bit more from DJing. Not to say that I'm not nice. If I get back on the twelves, <laughs> it's like I never left. But from there, I started leaning more toward making the beats. Then from that, I started linking up with different dudes, and um, my relationship with Red Spider. He hit me one day and was like, "Yo, um, you got anything on you for the locks? They looking for joints." So I'm like, yeah, I got some, 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 a couple beats or whatever. So he sets the meeting up. I ride up to Yonkers and meet up with Poops and Styles. And from there we vibe. I did that one beat for them, and it's been beat was this, after beat. Was this the New York beat? That was the New York record. That was oh, the that was the first record. That's the first one I did for them. Yeah, that was the first one I did for them. I met them. I, I met Styles, and then the next time I seen them, it was they were shooting a video for it, and that's the video set is when I met Jada and Sheik. Then after that, they just gave me the open invite, like, yo, you good, like, you family now. So it's just, from there, I've been doing the D-Block thing, and right now, just working on a couple other artists, and just trying to restore the feeling, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that, 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 that boom bap sound, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean, without yeah. sounding dated. You, you ever get any, uh, uh, <coughs> blowback from, uh, the other DJ Unique from, like, Bone Thugs and Harmony? Nah, like, I would hear it from, from, I guess, like, fans or whatever, yeah. but... Nah, you know, it's crazy because I, I would get confused with him. A lot of people say, oh, yo, you did this such and such. I'm like, nah, I didn't do that. Not to discredit him because I think his music is dope. But I people just miss it that his name is DJ U Dash N E E K. And mine is just DJ Unique, U N E E K. And a lot of people ask me, well, well, where do you get the unique from? I'm a 5 percenter. So my full attribute is understanding unique Allah. So I just chopped that down to DJ Unique. 
and left it like that. Like a lot of people that that really know me know me. Some people call me un sure for understanding. Some people just call me unique, or some people just say you or whatever. But nah, I, I I've gotten mixed up, but I clear it up. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Well, shit. Let's get to the beast then. <laughs> <laughs> I know he did something crazy in this. Pick these, you know, you got wrecked right here. Oh, <laughs> no. He gonna put me on blast. He gonna put me on blast. He gave me like 20 beats and I gotta get back oh. to him. Oh. Yeah, shit. Oh. When he came to him, I'm lying to you. I had to say it first before you put me on blast. Cause you know I was. I was about to take you off. I jump out the window first, like, you feel me? Boy, they can put me on black, but I got some bangers for them. You know what I mean? It's sweet. Cutting these joints off too early. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I think that's one of the beats right there. That's one of the beats right there. I'm glad he cut it over early. <laughs> <laughs> I got track star three two. Right. Actually, this is LOX. This right here is LOX. They not on. They, this ain't the vocal version, but. You 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 combine like samples and uh, sounds. Yeah, to, like because you know what? Sometimes I don't want it to sound too dated. Right. So it's just like keep the foundation and build your house. You know what I mean? Mm, you I can't you. you can't build a house starting from the roof. Talk about how that uh, that low siders uh, locks joint came about. Did they ask you to sample that? Nah, nah. It was just well, to tell people what you sampled it in case they didn't hear it. Oh, uh, if you didn't hear if you didn't hear that the. the no selfies joint is actually a sample of um rapper's delight the beginning part um by the sugar hill gang you know what i'm saying but i, I gangsted it out we did that for Kaz. <laughs> that's so we did that yeah. for Kaz and the boys we brought it back to the street because i get originally that that was considered i guess a crossover maybe sellout record but the beginning i always liked it and I, I, honestly i never really cared too much for the the rest of the record with the boom boom Boom, but that beginning got such an ill groove. I'm like, yo, I can just build around it. I am hazed up, yacked up, and I'm shroom. Gets busy with the hawk, nigga, and I boom. Choppers in the crib, effing in, in my room. Bailing everybody out, me and my goons. They command me, walkman, in my loans. Cause all I need is a little weed in my tunes. You wake up and your life could just end by noon. So I know it's supposed, to, it's supposed to open up more somewhere. Yo, you, you chop parts that I would never think to even <laughs> chop in a song. <laughs> that 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 back part is crazy. Yeah. Like it's like some people just got like, like I remember I interviewed a producer. He said he don't hear sounds. He sees colors when he when he when he listens to that's music. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. So that's that's a totally different listening experience. Like that, but that's. I, I, 
the good part, the best part of hip hop. Like people can arrange shit the way they hear it. Yeah. And not just, you know, just loop it up straight. To me it's like it's like if you're dope, if you're dope, you're dope. Like say if you draw, regardless if you got a crayon, a color pencil, a marker, you're gonna make something else. So that that's why I like I never get in the argument of MP over S P twelve or battery over such and such. It's like it's a stu- you, it's a stupid conversation. Yeah, but some niggas will argue to the death. I've seen dudes fist fight. Over the MP twelve hundred video conversation, I, it's it's some dudes with some whack beats on the NPC, <laughs> honestly. And it's dude with whack beats on the on, on the SP twelve hundred. Yeah. If you it's just like yo, if you don't got it, you don't got it. It's just just that simple. Or just keep keep working until you get it. Maybe you know you find your own joint. Let me see. that. I, I know I got it. I don't know if you I'm I like soulful soulful joints. Like I like hard joints, but I think soulful joints is more my lane. You got the joints that you did for Fab? Oh yeah, yeah, I got that. But like, like I said, he ain't use it, but this was the sample that he that So Fab brought the sample to you, or he told you the sample. Yeah, well, yeah, he but he told he told Fendi and Fendi relayed the message and this is what it was. You'll notice it right away. <laughs> I know you remember this. Yeah, it's uh. I mean, I, I think it could still work for somebody, but you know. The beat for, for, for New York, mm-hmm. how did that come about for the, the locks? For, for the locks, I was actually um, making a joint for, for Troy Ave for his New York City to, New York City to album record. <clears throat> so being at the title is New York City to album, I made a joint that had a, you know, that, that represented New York. So, you know, I guess, you know, every beat ain't for everybody. So when I brought it to him, he was just like, nah, I ain't really... That ain't really my lane or whatever. So I was just like, all right. So, you know, I just put it in a batch of beats with joints that I was shopping. So when I went up to see the locks, I had that along in a um in a batch that I was shopping and I played it for styles. And there was history from there. This is the original before the mix and everything. Can you say New York City? This one is crazy. Yo, good look. Yeah. I think it's like I said, I, I keep the foundation and then build around it like with other sounds. And it's, like, right. it's like other producers not doing that. They following a sound that's popular and then it, it doesn't have any replay value. Exactly. So you you know what I'm saying. So if I if I and I do this because of the producers I, I look up to, the Buckwilds, the Lost Professors, 
the the Pete Rocks, the Premiers, the Molly Malls, um, the Larry Smiths, like the list goes on. So it's just like that's what I came up on. So if, if us as new producers don't do that, the future producers won't have anything. Look, they gotta look past a, a whole generation, past another generation to find the foundation. So it's just like you keep the foundation, and you build from there. It's like anything else, like a neighborhood. Neighborhoods change, buildings come up, buildings go down. But when it's being constructed, the foundation always ha is there and it's always got to be strong. No foundation, your building's weak. It's the same shit with beats. If, if you don't have a foundation, my foundation is, is, is the drums. You know what I'm saying? A lot, of, a lot of beats today, they just... That's it. And, and, and a bunch of hi-hats and scary sounds. Like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really, it's, it's cool. Wow. It's cool, but it's like... That, that can't be all you got. You know what I'm saying? And I, I pride myself in not in, in knowing. Like some dudes I see, like if I post a beat or whatever, or I post something that I did, they'll, they'll know I did it. But I'll, I can play you beats with all that artist of rap to or whatever, and then none of them sound the same. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, right. you know, as opposed to, and I'm not knocking nobody, but I, I don't want I don't want to be the producer to make beats that all my shit sound like one big song. So it's just like, you can't tell which song is which. Like, you think this is my shit, but I don't know, that ain't it. You, you know the Sanak, right? But go ahead. We, 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 we ain't gonna say nothing to Mustard about that. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm not knocking nobody for doing what they do. But it's just like, he, and you know what? Not, you know what? It might not even be his fault. He, what, cause it's I, what people want. It's what they want. So it's just like, yo, he made a joint that was hot. And somebody said, yo, I want a joint just like that. But then that's corny because it's make your own joint. Go to him and get something else. Right. If he made one thing hot, I'm pretty sure you can make something else hot. Don't follow, you know what I'm saying? The, the Set the trend. Don't follow the trend. You know what I'm saying? Right. But as a mixtape DJ, you can appreciate the shit that can mix into other songs. Yeah, that, you can mix every mustard, yeah, every one of the mustard songs yeah, in the club. Do, yeah, you can do the best of. You can do you, you <laughs> can do an hour long set of DJ a, mustard shit. You can do an hour long set. But here's now here's the thing. I can do an hour long set of Kanye, and not one joint sound the same. True. I can do an hour long set of Swiss, not one joint sound like Pharrell, Timberland, and they still club joints, but they don't sound the same. You know what I'm saying? Like they might like with Timberland and Pharrell, they might sound similar. Some joints might be similar, but it's still not the same song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, don't mention Pharrell and some sounding similar right now because <laughs> he feeling the heat right now. <laughs> yo, man, listen. Up, like, I, yo, if you notice, like, I don't even touch Marvin Gaye samples. Like, Spider, the big homie Red Spider, like, he did um, Want to Get to Know You, G Unit Joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a Marvin Gaye sample. 100%. Yo, I'm gonna let you know. You, when you have your interview with him, how much publishing can I take off that Marvin Gaye and why that was a single? <laughs> so we'll say we'll say that for the rest. Okay, Spider I got you. We gonna go down to Miami and do that one. <laughs> or a big shout to Spider Man. That's the homie. But yo, uh, explain to people out there how how uh, it's good to have relationships to to shop music instead of you know just walking up to somebody in the club yo i got beats yeah because I, I how many people do that a you lot. know what i'm saying and I, I was one of them like i didn't know even the same shit with the mixtapes when making the mixtapes like, i didn't know like i remember one time asking craig g once yo give me some spots and he looked at me like i was crazy like i can't give you these spots like i, I worked these and once i got my own spots and, and niggas asked me i was like I see where he was coming from. I just can't give you. We could trade spots, but I just can't give it to you. So the same shit with beats is like you coming up to dudes like, yo, I got beats. You know, when I think about it now, how stupid I must have looked to some of these cats like, yeah, I right, sure you whatever. You got beats. Good. I'm over here drinking and fucking with bitches. Like, we don't right. want to hear about your right. beats. But once you develop a rapport, then you're able to move around. And once once you got a, you know, a good reputation with dudes where cats can vouch for you, like, nah. Son got heat, you know, he a good dude or whatever. Whether or not they take a beat from you or not, the relationship is still good. So if I see, you know what I'm saying, if I see Styles on the moon, it's it's all love. You know what I'm saying? I see Troy Ave on Jupiter, it's all love. Certain dudes, I see DJ Premier, wherever, it's all love. But it's just how you carry yourself and you can't run around like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy hot, son. I made beats and niggas can't fuck with me. Nope, stay humble, you stay working. Right. It's just right. as simple as that. Simple as that. So, um, I'm waiting to hear this, um, this Styles P joint that you, that they got out on SoundCloud. 
the 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 latest joint where he talking about uh you know what he what he say put you to sleep with a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got that for you. Uh, that and was... that's a classic sample. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 Big wait. shout out to K Def. Yeah, K Def and Larry O. That joint is crazy. And you know what? I'm, I'm a, once the cameras, because I don't want to be a Pharrell situation, I'm going to tell you something else about that okay, sample. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, where the hell is that? Uh, that would be. Yo, it's a lot of. Uh, superheroes around here. Did you you collect comic books too? Or nah, just, you know just the figurines. No, nah, I used to collect comics, but now it's just just the action figures. I actually, I I sold all my comics, and I thought I was gonna get more than what I was supposed to, so I offered trade for it. So for all my comics, <laughs> oh, 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 all my comics. Well, but Damn. I'm happy. But I'm happy with this. I was happy with it, so I was willing to part with them. For Thor, <laughs> for Thor Only you and Thor can look at <laughs> for So that's what my comic books got me. My, my comic books and the Optimus Prime. <laughs> that's what they got me. But the actually like Marvel's my joint. Like I, I mess with DC a little bit, but I'm a Marvel head. Bring that beat back, man. Bring that beat back. Bring that beat back. Uh, New York flow, for years I've been getting New York dough They know that my gun blow, straight out there now or four Either here or on tour, I got more pussy than Al B. Shaw uh, Arm like a Beretta out the bodega Porsche looking clean like a nigga hit mega I'm IMAX looking when I walk I'm a mix between Bill Gates and Cool G when I talk Sing it, woo! Uh, front line on that bullshit Down here at the helmer This nine millimeter more powerful than Selma I'm sorry Dr. King But these little niggas that bring More drama and more keys Than Alicia Keys can sing When they come on from that thing I'm straight out the P-Jacks Bullets got niggas losing weight Every day like the 40 day reset But they respect me Cause I'm Donnie the OG nigga. Bring that beat back man You wanna hear the whole joint? Oh. No, no, that's, that's good God that damn, beat. she... <laughs> Yo, I couldn't find it either. I had a a real crazy joint I did for Jazz. Jazz O? Yeah. Where he was flipping this the this beat. I can I, I got the beat, I can play the beat for you. But the beat was um remember when um Jadakiss did um by your side? Yeah. So he had to um wrap around the sample. So I did the same thing as it in this one. I did the, I did like the same type of concept, but it was um he whoever rapped to it would pretty much have to wrap around the sample, and um, the sample was saying hi. <laughs> that no samples pretty much know what this is but this is an escape this is right, not right. the escape version yeah I'll be jumping on that <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact I'll be jumping on that and red claiming that man <laughs> Jump on that beat. I will put your old blast. You need man. I'm taking that home with me, man. Matter of fact, right now, man. That, I don't even still want to play beats, or I don't know. Yeah, just play play a couple more. We, we good. All right, cool. I got I, I got shit loaded beats. Sometimes it's just hard to. Hey, you know this? You know the sample? Yeah. I'm glad you know it, because if I, I don't think I had a vinyl no more, so if need be, I might have to hit you on me like, your what's the name? Hey, you, uh, <laughs> you're listening to a lot of Fred Bugs, love, <laughs> love songs and slow jams. <laughs> no, you know what you can do? Just take the beat out and just shazam it. Shazam it, word, that's yeah. right. I think I still got the wax on. Most of the joints I sample, I kept the, the vinyl. I used this a long time ago. Get the fuck out of your word. That beat is ridiculous. Crazy, right? Yeah. 
I use this a lot. You use the vocal too or just the No, nah, just the loop. Yeah, nah, that the loop, loop is, is crazy. Not nah, the loop is hard. You know this? It got a little breakdown to it. This shit's tough. I know I still got. I know I still got this. Man. <laughs> nigga don't record this shit right away. Right, 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 right. Nigga selling that shit to the lots, fam, right. Trey Ab, yo, Rick, I gotta get the check. I ain't mad at him. But yo, my nigga, I got like five rounds with to that shit. He like, fuck that. <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> this is kind of a no brainer. Yeah. I know it's a dude. It's a group. Um, ecstasy, passion, and pain. I think that's the name of the group. Man, are you you just going to the eighties, dude. <laughs> I know. Was this nineties? Nah, nah, this I don't. I don't. Nah, I think it was like eighties, eighties, eighties joint. But it's crazy because with that beat, I was I was Spider had hit me up and asked me if um he's like yo you got anything for G unit. And what made me make that was, that was the time that 50 was having beefing with Youngbuck. So, mm -hmm. Hence, the, the chorus. Uh. <laughs> you, you just injecting yourself into the beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Word. So, um, good that joint. Good market. Good market. Good market right now. You know, I know. That flow's in the D shit. That's great, market, nigga. Jump right into the beef, nigga. You can right, shake right, it right. <laughs> Nah, yo, the crazy shit is, like, we're, it's funny. With with 50 and beef, like, that's the same thing again. Spider hit me. Say with, like, with 50 and beef. Mm. <laughs> I know. Mean, pause, pause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Super pause. He said, he asked me, um, an, another time, like, yo. Do you have you um they looking for something else. Now this time, 50 had gotten beef recently. Now, like I said, like I'm not I'm not one for the beef. You know what I'm saying? I don't make them. You know what I'm saying? I don't make the beef. I, I just, you just make like, I'm like Smith and Wesson. I don't start beef, I just manufacture the gun. That what y'all choose to do with the gun is it, it, y'all business. But this it, it did, I guess, you know, whatever, whatever happened. You know, it didn't go off or whatever. Or I, honestly, I don't even know if they got it because I, I gave it to somebody to give to somebody. So, um, it was. I'm gonna say you right. Damn. I don't even fucking. Which one is this? But anyway, long story short, I could play the beat without the sample I put in the beginning. I could do that for you. Um. But the sample I put in it that that I put into it later when I submitted it would give it up. It was um Debo when when the dude say when when Craig and and and, and um Smokey say give him back his chain and then the nigga go what chain? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the, so pretty much from there. You oh, can, oh, <laughs> you know, I already know. Uh, so and then and then from there I um I made I, I made the beat. And the beat was... Man, you just egging on the beat. <laughs> nah, you know. That, that, that shit was a summer jam. You just, yeah, so, you just now giving them the beat. <laughs> and, and, and this was the... This was like, if it was the ASAP mob, it would be... ASAP. This is just like, really... Some shit niggas can get their balls off on. You know what I'm saying? They, they can just break off on nothing really. I guess not for hours. Like, but something to beat the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> Your sample clearance should be through the fucking room. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, I know. You gotta pay two niggas. Yo. No, one dude in a group. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, word. Damn. Word. word. But I think, I think, I think, don't, um, who, I guess the original said, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Marley still eats off that, too. I, off of that? Yeah, I think he still gets PC off that, too. Okay. But, you know, like, you know what, to me, it's worth it, as long as it makes good hip-hop. Right, right, it's right, worth right, it. right, You know what I'm saying? I, I'll take, a, I'll take something skinny, as long as it's something that niggas can, if you could twist your face and go like this to it, I'm happy. I'm good. You, you, you like the, uh, you, you know how, uh, what's... Salam Remy takes like the the old joints and revamp like yeah yeah you, you, you kind of your stuff just kind of remind me of his you know I I, I kind of like when I'm doing that I, I I I put myself in what I call Quentin Tarantino mode like and the reason I say that is there was a point when Samuel L. Jackson wasn't hot but then after Pulp Fiction and in a few other joints that Quentin Tarantino he he brought him back to life he brought John Travolta back to life. He brought Fred Williamson back to life. Yeah. He brought Pam Grier back. So he took classic people, or, or you know what I'm saying, and, and revived them. And, and that's what I, that's what I, that's the mode I'm in when I take joints that it's like, yo, I grew up off of this. So it's like it's, it's my way of paying homage without biting. Right. So I guess some people, I guess they might say, nah, you know what I'm saying, that's that's easy. It's a no brainer. Like somebody even hollered at me about the no selfies joint. Like you cheated. I ain't seen nobody say Puffy was cheating. Nigga, you winning. <laughs> Yo, I ain't seen nobody say <laughs> Jermaine Dupri was cheating when they was doing it and they still made dope joints. So, it is what it is. The no selfie joint is hard. Nah, because I'll because that's that that's the joint you wouldn't even expect no gunshots. Or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we brought it back for the cold crush. We did it for Cash. Did yeah. it for Cash, man. But yeah, other than that, yo. My nigga winning. Yo, listen, my nigga Unique is winning, and that's it. He home team, you know what I mean? Got a music, and he doing his own thing, and all that. That's it, man. No fucking hate, man. This nigga from Brownsville, well, living in Brownsville, Brooklyn, but he from the star and all that. So no fucking hate, man. Salute, man. Unique, keep doing your thing, my nigga. Thanks, thanks for uh, inviting us into the into the lab. Yeah, son. So you know, whenever. You Matter of fact, another thing to Jay Sinai, my nigga. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's yeah. get this done, man. The PSA that is <laughs> let's right now. Done. Let's get this done. You sitting on a heater? I'll send the Pro Tools session whenever you say fire. We, 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 we will good. shoot the video <laughs> whenever he finish. <laughs> Word, man. Big shout to to the whole low budget crew, man. I'm a big fan. Kev Brown, you know what I'm saying? Like definitely, man. Salute to all y'all dudes, man. The whole DMV, and you know what I'm saying. Whenever y'all need. I'm here. Nigga, how can you not a South by Southwest like every other fucking two years producer ago. and rapper? I did, I did two years ago. Well, I'm, 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 I was damn because I came off a little surgery, so. Okay. That's that's why when I was walking, I'm a little penguinish, little. <laughs> but I'm good. So next South by, I'll probably be there. But last two, they saw me. It, now, as a producer, is it worth it? What a South by South by Southwest? Yeah, I think it's always worth it because for the connections, for the connections, mm -hmm. and 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 just to see the the, the fresh talent. You know what I'm saying? Because at some point, the, the dopest rapper, somebody shunned him at one time. So it's just like, yo, I show love to everybody. If you dope and you got bars, it's just like, man, listen, I salute you. And you're doing your thing. Man, I remember when dudes like Mayhem Loren and, and fucking Action Bronson couldn't get on a nigga's mixtape. Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? And to see what they doing now, and it just makes me it makes me feel good. And it, it, it motivates me to do more. Like, like I'm, what I'm doing is not for nothing. Right. So, man. Right. We, we appreciate the hospitality. Hey, <laughs> nah, same as man, it's all good. Lil Young nigga gold chain thinking he fly Passenger seat, fats had the GTI uh -huh. Trying to catch the last movie at Bay Plaza Burner on my waist, dime bags in the Dutch master I'm the Allah, the grace of God, we got home good It's real, straight bullets pop off in the hood Mr. Magic on Sergio jacket Yeah, we wore shiny suits, but that put us in a new tax bracket Now I'm looking through my Gucci glasses Throwing dollar bills at strippers with injected asses Bunch of shooters with us, chain hang to the ground the Really know who holding the crown, huh?